Well, we're down on France's case, and yesterday it was pouring rain. Actually, the last day and a half has been pouring rain. And typically, early in the season, well, any of the time of the year, on these reservoirs, a lot of times the key is finding cleaner water. So we know some of these tributaries dumping are going to be dumping in some really muddy, dirty water. And so we're going to try to figure out which areas just offer some cleaner water, get above those tributaries, and uh, try to find the right water color. And usually when you're finding the right water color, you find the fish. Basically what we're going to do here, we're going to start out pulling lead core. Lead core can be a, a great way to break down water early in the year. Water temperatures mid 40s right now. You know, despite the fact that it's so cold, you can come in here with lead core and, and put these smaller crankbaits down in this deeper water and uh, not only find fish, but it's also a great way to cover water, fish these big flats, and just stay on these fish because these fish are moving a lot. All right, fish on. Feel like a good one? Hard to say, 150 feet back there. It's staying down. All right, I'll just kind of pull us out into the channel here. Perfect. There we go. He's coming. All right. Skiing. Coming to the surface. Let's see. Yeah, right flavor. The old Salmo Hornet. Or no, that's that. Uh, that's that bullhead. Bullhead. Uh, SDR bullhead. Is that a red and white? Yep. Oh, yeah. That's a decent fish. Yeah, we're caught on another line here, but we'll get the fish in here first. Okay. There we go. There we go. All right. All right. Right on. Nice. But yeah, that's a nice way to start right there. And we're just, <laughs> we're just covering ground. We're on Francis Case here. It's a reservoir on the Missouri River here in southern South Dakota. And it's just a big, long, narrow reservoir. The whole deal this spring has been finding the right water color in the sense that we've had a lot of rain lately, a lot of precipitation. So these tributaries that are flowing into this reservoir are just pumping in a lot of muddy, dirty water. And when you get that muddy, dirty water, these fish can be hard to find, hard to catch. And so what we've been doing is we've been just covering water, making big moves, just trying to find, find cleaner water to get away from that, some of that dirty water that's getting dumped in here. But uh, first one's always the hardest one. It's a nice fish. Well, we're just uh, letting this line out right now. We're, we're, putting, uh, we're running lead core here, 150 feet back. For every 30 feet of lead, or each color, that comes into like five feet of depth for your, your crankbaits to go down. So as we're fishing the, roughly that 20 feet of water right now, we're letting four colors of lead out to get us down to where we need to be, give or take for each different crankbait. We're just crawling upstream. We're going about two miles an hour. And with lead core, the faster you go, the more it lifts up off the bottom. And then also when you slow down, it'll sink. And so you can also use your speed to adjust your depth even more, but we're just crawling upstream about two to 2.3, 2.4 miles an hour at the fastest. There we go, here's a fish. Long rod. Finally, the long rod comes All right. Trying to point us out here and ski him on in. How's he feel? Yeah, hard, there's some weight there. Yeah, it's hard to tell. I got a lot of line out. You know, what's interesting is there's still enough current moving through this reservoir where you're pulling lead core upstream. You're gonna have to let out a lot more line than when you turn around and go downstream. Come on up here where we can see a few head shakes there. Just want to try to get them up on top here and ski them. We're going to need a net on that guy? I think so. Nice. Nice. All right, nice fish. A little more. There we go. Nice. All right. Got the player's right down below you here. Got him. He wasn't going anywhere. Nice fish, good eater. All right, just gonna let that line right back out. We're just using 17 pound lead core, about a 10 foot, 10 pound braid leader, just to, just enhances the sensitivity. There's so much debris floating down river that uh, you could imagine it's easy to get fouled up. And so that braided leader just makes the whole presentation a lot more sensitive. You'll actually see the, the line, the lead core line vibrating or bouncing in the guides. And that's how you know that the lure is running true, running straight. Go ahead and grab him, Tom. All right. Here you go. Finally, the outside rod comes yeah. into play. Feel like a good one? Feels decent. All right. Oh, yeah, he's got a nice mouth on him. Nice. All right. A 
Come on in here. Here we go. All right. All right. So these are just perfect eaters, and that's why people come out here. Is you know, this is an, this is a location, a destination where you can come out here early in the year, long before a lot of the other seasons open up, and just get your fix. Catch a lot of fish, and catch a lot of perfect eating size fish. But yeah, that's just a perfect eater right there. Just a healthy fish. The lake is just full of them. When you're trolling this lead core, it's important to stay close to the bottom but not on the bottom. And, and, and it's tough when you're trolling contours. So we've been kind of staying off into the on the edge into that deeper water, but just uh, keeping that bait running as close but not on the bottom as we can. That's a nice thing too with these uh, line counters and lead. I mean, you can just go back if you, you can go right back to the number that you were at when you caught that fish. The biggest thing is to remember to look before you start reeling yeah. on your numbers. So many times I've just grabbed the rod and we'll go right back where we were and see if we can get it back in their face. You know, it's early in the season. Challenge of fishing early in the season is obviously you have the cold water temperatures and then when you have rain like we've had lately, you have this muddy, dirty water getting dumped into this reservoir from all these big tributaries. All these big tributaries are churned up and they're just dumping that muddy, dirty water that's full of debris into this reservoir. So you're trying to find the clean water. And so that's the biggest challenge is just to eliminate big sections of, of this reservoir. And you want to find out the zones where you've got good water quality, you've got biting fish. But typically you'll see this pattern where these fish will be a little bit deeper here early in the season. And then as this water warms up, these fish start going in their spawn. The patterns change where we'll start uh, pitching up along the rubble, up along the bluffs a lot more, and you'll find fish a lot shallower. But until these fish move shallow, you know, these fish can be relating to this channel, whether it's the flats off the edge of the channel or just the structure that that's coincides with that old river channel that winds through this reservoir. And so that's why early in the season, pole and lead can be so effective. Oh, here's oh, a fish. Fish on. Fish on. Fish on. Fish on. Fish on. All right. We, we got a double? <laughs> you got one on there? All right. Yeah. Nice. Nice. It pours, huh? Very How long cool. Have we went? Finally. Oh. oh, mine just got off. Did it? Yeah, let's see what you got here. I'm gonna let mine back out. Isn't that unbelievable? They could come off, you know, oh, six know. hooks in a crankbait. A little bit of excitement, huh? A little bit of a fire drill. All right. All right. Oh, you got a nice walleye there. It's coming up. That's one nice thing about those long rods, besides spreading on lines, you can sure steer the fish. Right. Here we go. Nice. nice. Woohoo! Yeah, that's what's for dinner down in this country. All right. Let that fish go. Get back out. All right, some of the lures we've been using uh, today have just been this, uh, the Hornet number fives. Typically out here we like to use, you know, the whites, chartreuses, of course, with the walleyes and the greens. But uh, today the uh, this white and red and the uh, green and chartreuse have been great in this. The bullhead parrot is also a great color out here. We've got some stained water that we're dealing with, and uh, that orange typically in that stained water has just been a great color. You've taken the pearl and adding the orange to it, it's just been a, a go-to color. Uh, also this fire tiger has been, been awesome. Just using whatever we can to make these fish bite. You know, right now we've been, uh, earlier this spring, we've been fishing uh, the, this Chamberlain Platte area, and uh, we were fishing below the White River. Uh, it was a tributary that flows into this river, and uh, it was just awesome fish bite. Uh, warmer water was coming in through that, off that river system. And uh, now today we're, uh, we're, we're below uh, Crow Creek. There again, you've got nice warm water coming in, but it's dirty, you know, messy water. We're just trying to find where the dirtier runoff water is uh, teaming up with that crystal clear pristine water that's coming in from the dam. And that's where we're fishing right now. And it's been productive. Fish on. All Fish right. Fish on. On the corner. All right. Go ahead and reel them in. Okay. We're just catching fish and finding fish. It's tough to beat this, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> this is awesome. <laughs> He's skiing in nice. He's coming in good. I don't know if we need the net or... Yeah, I'll grab the net here. Slow it down a minute. Definitely a great walleye. Just put that lure on. All right, nice Short work. Chartreuse and red. They are fat too. Imagine this. All the shad that are in this lake. So healthy. There. Nice. Great walleye right there. All right, 
Let that fish go. Yeah, that's just a perfect eating sized fish. There's probably people watching hope they can work crazy for throwing fish back like that. But first one to eat fish, that's as good as it gets right there. With a 15 inch size limit on Francis Case. And it's kind of a kind of a reputation. You can come out here early in the year, you can come out here and catch a lot of fish. It might not be the, the top water for catching big fish, but as far as catching eater fish and getting lots of action, the action is the attraction here on Francis Case. And yes, big fish are possible. I mean, there's some 12, 13, 14 pound fish are caught below the dams each spring. And so these big fish are in the system, but talk about numbers of fish. There we go. You wanna net that, Meg? You bet. Nice. Another great walleye. Lots of fish in this system. You come out here in the springtime and get your fix.